Do you bear good fruit or bad fruit? It's not like fruit fruit. We're talking about your environment, your spirit, soul, and temple, the thoughts, emotions, the actions, people you're hanging out with. What, what fruit? What fruit? Every day is important in your spiritual walk with the Trinity if you're bearing good fruit or bad fruit. Why? Because if you're bearing bad fruit, for example, negative words, thoughts, and actions, it could bring a negative environment and it could bring you down. It could stress out your soul, your brain, your heart, your spirit, the temple, the body belong to Jesus and it's important to God do you want me to do this or do you want me to do that if if don't twist my words if you want to serve Jesus and you want to learn and grow by the power of the Holy Spirit you want to do good right good fruit and positive and is it helping people is it is it glorifying Jesus now we know the Holy Spirit in Galatians 5 22 says the fruit of the Spirit is, capital S, that's Holy Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, right? But we're talking about actions and words and things in life that's good, that's positive, or is negative. And you have that choice. You have free will if you're going to do either one. And also, if you're going to bring God in, God help me make these decisions. And if I do have any bad fruit, God tell me and I will take responsibility and I repent, release and forgive and I give it to you. It's whatever you want, I give it to you. I trust in you. Help me make godly choices. So those are just a few gold nuggets in this short video I want you to think of. And if you need any more information, I have Come Near God Workbook. I break it down, you write in it and you it gets the layers off. We're like an onion, right? We have layers. So each time we do a teaching video, you'll get a layer off, or you can get the workbook, Come Near to God, published. I wrote in 08 and 09. I'll have other ones out. Or the other videos. But either way, you have a good heart. If you're listening to this, I know you have a good heart. And you have good fruit. Anything negative, you ask God, and he will help you. But do not let the soul or the body, the temple, convince you, oh, I don't have anything, because that could bring in pride, keep it up and become a sin, keep it up and be a demon. I'm sorry. Vanity, self-righteousness, ego, you gotta humble yourself. God, is there anything that you want me to submit to you and take ownership so I can be healed and delivered? A lot of people don't understand. If you get cleaned up with Jesus, you'll experience the Trinity more and you'll be used by them more and you will be able to be free. Okay, so ready to get rid of some bad fruit? Let God know. He'll tell you. Process. Repent. Release it to God. Jesus, Holy Spirit. And forgive. Forgive yourself, God, and others at 100%. I talked about that in the other videos. Until next time, just know you're the righteousness of God. And you have good. There's good in you. And don't let any humans tell you anything different, okay? Don't listen. You listen to the Holy Spirit. Until next time. Bye.